It's Friday morning, and you know what that means. We let Harry loose. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Push the buttons for us all morning. Oh, no. Yes, I do. Collect our secrets. Please excuse the um, raspy voice, I know, you're guys. very husky this I morning. Know. It comes through in the debrief as well. You'll hear all it. Right. You'll hear it. The energy. You guys brought the energy, though, this week, I thought. We tried. Where, where do you rate this uh, debrief, Harry? In the... Look, in the you, know I had a, you know I had a big weekend in Melbourne last weekend? Yeah. The energy's been down all week. <laughs> did I mail it in this week? Mm. Mm. I don't know. No, no, I don't think I did. Cause I you you've got so content. much great raw yeah, material to work with. The content of the show <laughs> just shines through. Again, oh. so difficult to work out what I don't want to um, put in yeah, there. But sure. with the CEO in town, is this the best way to rep- like showcase your show? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Regrets. <laughs> <laughs> so you got audio from this show? <laughs> yeah, 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 you want to hear it? Okay. Sure, let's hear let's it. Let's do it. Nathan, Nat and Sean's Weekly Debrief. This week didn't have the smoothest of starts. For some reason, Sean thought work was optional on Monday. And Nathan and Nat was sounding just a little off. It's my microphone. Yeah. What's it's your microphone? It's really tinny. What does it sound like? Do we sound tinny? We just got a soldier on, Nathan. What do you the mean? The building was on fire and we still work. Can we not like... Wait, there were people, gonna call, people calling us. Let's see if we sound... Hello, Nova. Who's this? Yeah, how are you going? Hi, Simon. Do we sound weird? No, you sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sean did show up on Tuesday, but didn't have a whole lot to do. Plenty happening in the footy world, as you would have seen in the last 48 hours. So we'll touch we made up for you yesterday. Oh, yeah, we've, talked, it, we've talked yeah. about all that, so yeah. best yeah. should come up with something else that's been done already. <laughs> Pass me the paper, then. <laughs> oh, same way you prepare. Oh, we're showing up next with the recipe of the day. <laughs> Sean's body may have been back in the studio, but I'm not too sure his head was. And the wheels fell right off when the guys were recording intros for the podcast. We catch up with a guy uh, who's the director of regional com... Compliance. Director, director regional compliance <laughs> metro, which means why am I reading that at all? No, 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 to be fair, that was a long job title. Let's try another. And an old lady across the road from me was getting a house sold um, from her from, well, outside of her own... <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of big news in the sporting world this week with F1 favourite Dan Ricciardo being paid $23 million to leave McLaren. Bring me the situation <laughs> where someone offers me $23 million to leave. That's the dream. Go ring it to me. We'll wait and see if there's any interest from some of the Formula 1 teams and if you can make it there. Well, if he wants to work in a car, we can give him a job as a Casanova. <laughs> During the week, Nathan, Nat and Sean's executive producer, Amy, came across a complete creep on Marketplace who was more interested in photos of her feet than the shoes she was selling. Digital producer Tim also had a tough time. I sold my king size bed frame. This guy bought it off me. I was like, cool, sweet, no worries, whatever. Call me when you're on your way. Anyway, so he calls me, I missed the call. Yeah. Call him back. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, hi, who's this? Sorry, I thought I was going to be speaking with a guy, um, <gasps> not a girl. And I was like, oh, Tim, <laughs> you are speaking to a guy. <laughs> So, Tim, did you lower your health tank? Yeah, yeah, so when he arrived, I was like, oh, don't yeah, worry about right, right. it. <laughs> yeah, but all good. The guys love to travel, and it's quite clear that Stanford Hotel will be the choice going forward, thanks to a new R-rated item on the room service menu. They're offering what they're calling um, the Black Label Enhancements yeah. Package. Uh, yeah, you can Google it yourself if you're interested. Just not while you're at work. Pray for the one group of people at that hotel. Housekeeping. <laughs> Nathan, Matt and Sean are surrounded by music, but it's quite rare to be blessed with a tune while the mics are on. This week, we were lucky enough to hear Nate singing Faith Hill's This Kiss and adding fart noises to Pink. But a personal highlight was when the guys came off the back of Kelly Clarkson. First time. Oh my goodness. Sorry to um, ruin a great week there. Actually, you know what? Let's hear that again. First time. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.